Good evening. That's it. From now on, your knights belong to the Air Force as well. In this flight, you'll learn all you need to know about flying your aircraft and attacking ground targets at night. The first thing you need to know about flying at night is how to turn your external lights on and off. We use the lights around base area, but turn them off behind enemy lines. Go to external view by pressing the F10 key. Switch the lights on and off using the control L key. Now taxi to the runway. coming in for landing. You can use the shift arrow keys to pan your head in the cockpit or use the POV hat on your joystick. Now line up and point the airplane towards the far end of the runway. Austin Nellis, clear for takeoff. Austin 1, airborne. Once we're airborne, it's time to put the night vision goggles on. Do that using the control N key. How about that? The desert looks very green at night. Now let's practice low-level navigation towards Waypoint 2. Now, let's talk about the Lantern attack pod. The Lantern gives us two special capabilities. One is to detect targets at low visibility conditions. The second is to designate targets with a laser pod and attack them with laser bombs or LGBs. Press the left bracket key to select the GBU-12 laser bomb. Notice that your Lantern is automatically displayed on the MFD. You can pan the lantern by using the control arrow keys and zoom in and out by using the MFD zoom buttons. To have a better view of your FLIR, switch to full screen MFD view by pressing Z. Laser bombs can be deployed either by using active laser designation or using the passive mode. In the passive mode, a third party, like a ground force or another airplane, designates the target for you. All you have to do is to locate that designation and drop your bombs on it. Austin, right now, we have a ground one. unit which is designating one of the targets around waypoint two. We are now going to attack that target.
Wait for the ground unit to give you clearance to fire. Austin 1, this is line 1. Your target is caged. You have permission to fire. Pan your FLIR to the area of waypoint 2. Once the designated target is detected, the FLIR will display a bright square on top of the target, and the pod will automatically track the target. Go into full HUD view by pressing the F1 key. Fly towards the target at 10,000 feet. We'll use a level bombing technique for this pass. We are now five miles from the target. Place your pipper in the area of the laser TD box. Then press and hold the pickle button until the bomb is released. After the bomb release, start a 3G right turn to clear the target area. You can switch back to full screen MFD view and watch your bombs hit the target. Destroyed. We rule the night. Austin 1, this is Lion 1. Target destroyed. I repeat, target is destroyed. Okay. Now fly to waypoint 3, and we will practice active laser designation. Use your map radar mode to lock on a target at waypoint 3. Our target is an SA-2 radar. Use the F-4 view to make sure you're locked on the right target. The target is the radar, not the launchers. Notice that the FLIR display is centered on your radar target. Go into full screen MFD and zoom in on the target. Once you're sure the FLIR is locked on the right target, Press the L key to turn the laser designator on. Laser on is displayed on the MFD. Now go into HUD view and perform a level bomb run on the target, the same way you did it last time.
Austin won. Sam destroyed. Austin passing away. Not too three. bad. You'll make a fine USAF pilot one day. It's time to go back home. Don't forget to turn on your lights. I recommend you use the ILS system for the approach. The ILS indicators will help you in your glide path orientation for the landing. This mission will end once you land this jet safely at Nellis. Nellis, Austin, 10 miles for the overhead. Austin, Nellis, landing runway 22 right, no wind. Four to five mile initial. Nellis, Austin, base, gear down and locked. Austin, Nellis. Clear to land, 22 right. Austin 1, landed.
Austin Nellis. Welcome home. Clear to taxi to hangar. Okay, we made it back. Now go and get some sleep. There's a long day ahead of us tomorrow. <laughs> 